Hi, St. John's. It's Chris Roussel. Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, I wanted to keep it basic today, friends. Uh, whenever I have trouble praying, I oftentimes go back to the, the foundation of our prayer life, which is the Lord's Prayer, the, the prayer that was taught to us by Jesus Himself. Uh, there are some um, uh, rumors and some misinformation floating around the community of St. John's that needs some clarification and some context. This might sound a little complicated because of the way in which I have to present it in order to preserve everyone's anonymity. Uh, there is a married couple in our parish who did test positive for COVID-19. Uh, I spoke to them this morning. They feel fine. They thought they simply had a head cold. They eventually did get tested um, and both of their tests ended up being positive. Uh, the wife of the, and, and the couple, by the way, has not been to St. John's at all. They haven't been here since COVID started, and so there is no risk to our, to our community, to any of our gatherings here at St. John's. Now, the wife of the couple had a luncheon, I believe it was, with a couple of other St. John's parishioners. One of those parishioners did come to church on Sunday. This was prior to the wife finding out that she was positive for COVID. The, uh, the parishioner who came on Sunday, we feel very confident that she was outside the window of being contagious because there is a timeline continuum with all these things. But, but that individual who came on Sunday, we believe was outside the, the window of contagion. And so we're not concerned for those who were here on Sunday. Remember, I was here. I would be concerned for myself too. Um, but I really feel that the way things have fallen in terms of the timeline, that, that we are all okay. Now, that individual who was here on Sunday has gone and gotten tested today, which is Thursday. Will not get her results back until possibly Saturday. The reason I have to address this is because there are some who have reached out to me to say, that the parishioner who was there on Sunday is positive for COVID. That is not true. We don't know that yet. Uh, she's been tested, but her results have not come back. Even if the results come back positive, again, we feel that she would have been outside of the window of contagion uh, and would not have posed a risk on Sunday to those who were here. Um, because some are saying that this person is positive when they haven't, when they've only been tested, or that these folks were positive and they were with this one and that one, um, it, it's it's getting a little bit complicated uh, in trying to make sure we have good and accurate information. I will tell you that, uh, as I said, I spoke to the couple who tested positive, and I spoke to the parishioner just a little while ago who was tested today, who is awaiting her test results. Um, it seems that. News of this kind spreads faster than the virus itself. Uh, I will tell you, I am committed to making sure that all of you are kept safe and COVID free. I will not for one second do anything to risk your health, my health, my family's health, or anyone's health for that matter. So I'm not taking this lightly, but I'm just working within the realm of the reality and the facts that we have. Just because you hear that somebody at St. John's is positive doesn't mean that it's so. Just because you hear that someone who was positive was here on Sunday for worship doesn't make it so. Now, I'm not chastising anybody for, for sharing information. In fact, it's, it's helpful. It sort of got the ball rolling on all of this. Um, but I, we had to do some due diligence and track down the source and make sure we have accurate information. Um, if you know of someone who was here on Sunday and they have tested positive, in fact, please feel free to let me know. I'm not, um, I, again, I'm not gonna take any of that lightly, but uh, because I know 
how a close-knit community we are. The, the word is already on the street that uh, this one individual has COVID and, and we don't know that yet. That's not confirmed. She's only been tested today. And so we just have to be really, really careful. Um, please pray for an end to COVID. Please pray that the parishioner who is tested today will be and is negative. Pray for the couple in our parish who has tested positive. They are quarantining and they're not worried or nervous or concerned. They feel fine um, and they are just staying at home and they've got another week of quarantining. Um, and please pray for pray for me and the staff here. We've all been collaborating on this and, and pray for our vestry that we can have the wisdom and the insight in terms of how we are to best and properly respond uh, to all of these kinds of things. Um, COVID is exhausting all of us, I know, and I'm so sorry, and I can't wait till we're all back together. But if you watch the news, you know the numbers are going up. It's spreading faster and faster, and uh, we have to continue to do our due diligence even more now than we even did at the beginning of the pandemic. So uh, call me, email me, call our staff, email our staff. If you have questions, if you, um, if you want more information as, as best as I can uh, give it to you, um, but thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your generosity, and thank you for your prayers. God bless you. I love you. Bye.